If I was with a person who was 50 plus and they were wondering, you know, what they would, would want to do and they were thinking about starting something, um, but feeling like maybe they couldn't possibly organize that or drifting into the past of what's worked for them before, I would want to encourage them to focus on the gifts inside themselves and take some kind of a self-aware, self-check on who they are and also to see themselves as young, um, as young in this part of their life. So to see this as a growing, as a growing time for them, not like a giving back of old stuff that you knew, but uh, to, because when we're each learning in that dynamic creative space, that's when we're giving the most to other people. Life is an adventure and it needs to be an adventure and you need to have some fun. And if you've got a family, they'll ask you, I sometimes get my clients to sit in the rocking chair and I say to them, and they only, may only be in their 30s or 40s, and I say to them, now, imagine you're in your 80s and you've got your grandchildren sitting beside you or sitting, you know, watching in the rocking chair. And they said, Grandma or Granddad, what did you do in life? And you say, I played safe. And you, know, you need to, I'd say, how did you feel about that? And they say, well, actually, I wish I had done something. Um, I could have stories I could then tell my grandchildren. So really go for it. If I had to find three phrases to explain my business ethics, the first would be be kind, be fair, and be honest. And if I could only have one, it would be be kind. Because if you're kind, you're fair. And if you're kind, you're honest. And I think business ethics are very important. The one thing I think you have to do with business is be patient. Everybody thinks, and I've met so many people who have said this to me, that as you launch a business, they think the customers are going to come running to them. You know, this is the most fantastic invention ever, and everybody's full of their own invention. And that's good, because that's passion, and that's confidence. But then you have to be very patient and then you have to think very, very carefully about how you market your business because the hardest part of starting and launching a business is breaking into the market. I think, you know, if I could give any advice to, to anyone out there who's got a, a project or a dream or something that they want to do, it's to just really believe in yourself that, you know, that you that it's possible that you can do it and I think by holding you know a vision of how you want things to go and keep working at it consistently you know it is achievable. If there is an organization in your area that will help you um, use them because that's what they're there for you know all the government grants all the European grants that are coming in is purely to help people in our situation to be able to set up their business or do whatever they dream they want to do. I think if you're going to start up a business on your own, use all those resources that are there. Seek them out. Don't wait for them to come to you. Keeping reasonable records, even when you're not a formal company. So if you are spending money, even if it's just a few stamps, keeping a note of them. Where's it written down? You know, have you got a box file which you put your um, receipts in? And certainly really good tax advice from the get-go. The, the one message I'd want to give people is communicate. Keep talking. So you've got to tell people what you're doing, but you've got to tell and tell and tell. But it's not only that, it's about all those around you, whether it's your family or whether it's people who are helping you or people who are visiting. You've just got to be so clear. You might think you've told them, but you have got to keep everybody on board, up to date, understanding why, who, what, where, when. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Um, I would say initially do what you know to start with, but be prepared to take different routes because as soon as you start something, various doors open and you tend to end up sometimes being taken down a path that you hadn't really expected to be taken down. You, you could miss so much if you were just on tracks, for example, going in one direction. You could miss so much by not um, keeping an open mind. 
realize that however much time in your day you think you're going to give to your business, you should quadruple it because you will never ever have enough time to do everything that needs to be done. And if you've budgeted, at least double it because it's going to take you more money than you could imagine. It's going to, it, it, just, it just snowballs. And if you have the energy and you have the drive and you have the passion, it's, it's a wonderful life. My advice to give to people, um, regardless of age, about setting up their business, especially um, anybody over 50, would be to follow your dream. If you've, if you've got a dream, um, just follow it, because my motto is live to love, love to live. And I love life, I love helping people, and you've got a great buzz, great satisfaction from doing what you're doing. And I'm not doing it for the money because I want to earn money, I'm not that type of person. I'm doing it because I'm passionate about what I'm doing. My advice to anybody who's thinking about starting their own business is just do it. Because if you analyse it, there's a thing called analysis paralysis and you'll sit there and analysing it inside out and you'll find every reason to not do it. Um, take a leap of faith, put yourself in some stress and make it work. To follow your heart, uh, don't give up. If you've got a dream, live your dream and uh, be determined. You only live once, uh, it's not a rehearsal, go for it. You'll always be left wondering if you don't try it. So have a go.